Today we're going to demonstrate how to install the parts that you receive with your axle. In this case it's going to be a brake assembly and a hub and drum and all the parts that are included and how that will install on this Easy Lube axle. These will be the parts that will come with your axle. It will come with two of everything pictured here. It has the brake assembly for the electric brakes. It will have the hub and drum. It'll come with the can of marine grease. It'll come with the inner bearing. It'll come with the outer bearing. It comes with the grease seal. And it'll also come with the half inch lug nuts. And then the hardware to install the brake assembly onto the brake mounting flange. Now the tools you'll need to install these parts onto the axle will be a hammer, pair of channel lock pliers, an 1116 socket and ratchet, a block of wood so when you tap in the grease seal and the dust cap, and it'd be nice to have a box of shop towels around because you will get greasy putting the grease on. Okay, we'll start by when you receive your axle. This will be packaged and protected and they also put a, a, a little bit of grease on here. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to take off the cage that locks the nut on. So once you pull the cage off, there you go. And you'll notice on this cage there is a flat side and that'll line up with the flat side on the spindle. So you want to make sure that's what'll lock it into place. And then we're going to unscrew the nut. <clears throat> and then we'll take off the D washer and it's a D washer because again you'll see that flat side that lines up with the flat side on the spindle. Now what we're going to do is we ship it with this red grease in here but on it to protect it but what we're going to do is the grease that is sent with it is this marine grease which is a little different composition so we're going to wipe all this off because you really don't want to mix it. And again you don't have to worry about getting every part of the grease off as long as you get most of it off. The next step would be to install the electric brake assembly. Now when you go to install the brake assembly you'll want to definitely make sure this one is marked right hand side so you want to make sure it goes on the right hand side of the trailer. The other one will be a left hand side. And then the other thing you want to make sure of is when you install this that this brake magnet will be at the bottom of the trailer. So when you go to install this you'll notice there's four bolts already on the brake assembly. It'll line up with the brake mounting flange on the axle. So we'll just go ahead and slide this on and line the bolts up with the holes on the brake mounting flange. Then with the brake assembly the bolts through the brake mounting flange you'll take a washer, put it on the stud and then take the nut and go ahead and put that on. And there'll be four of them just like that. Put the washer on. Put the nut on. I got an 1116 socket with a ratchet. And then what you want to do is just go ahead and snug all four of them up. One last nut to tighten up here. Okay, now that they're all tightened down, your brake assembly is all installed. The next step would be on the hub and drum. It does have the races pre-installed, inner and outer. So what we're going to do is go to the inner. And again, we're going to use some of the included marine grease that comes with this. And what you want to do is just get a little bit and just rub it all around the race on the inside before you install the bearing. And then you'll take the inner bearing and take some grease and just go ahead and install it on the bearing itself. And again, because this is going on an easy lube axle we'll, where you'll be pumping grease in after it's all everything's installed, you won't have to worry about not getting enough grease in here because you'll be putting more in. So now that we got all the grease. We'll go ahead and drop the bearing into the race. 
Let my fingers off there. And then we're gonna take the seal and then we'll put the seal right on top here. And this is where the block of wood will come into play. What you wanna do is drop it. And the reason you use the block of wood is when you hammer, you don't wanna really try to hammer on the grease seal itself if you can. And then when you do hit the block of wood, it'll distribute the, so it'll pound in evenly so you don't get it at a warped angle in there. So just go around till you get it started and you'll be able to sound actually you'll be able to tell when you pound on it the sound will change and be a lot solid and that'll pretty much tell you that it's in there correctly and then you'll have your bearing and seal all installed okay the next step what you want to do to install the we're going to do put the hub and drum onto the spindle what you want to do is since we already wiped off the red grease we're going to put some a light coating of the marine grease that's included. You just want to put a light coating on the spindle to help protect it. Again, you don't have to put a whole lot in because you'll be putting a grease gun on that zerk fitting and filling it up with grease. So once you get a light coating on there, then what you'll want to do is take your hub and drum that you've installed the inner bearing on, and then what you want to do is slide this right on and you'll see that it, the seal will eventually pop right in there and then what you want to do is take your outer bearing and again get some grease we're going to grease up that outer bearing push some grease through the rollers there and then you'll just want to go ahead and start that on the axle and then what you want to do is go ahead and get your D washer that you've taken off and line that straight edge up with the straight edge on the spindle and get your nut you go ahead and tighten that down and tighten it as much as you can once it starts getting tight what you want to do is take your channel locks and then with your channel locks, just go ahead and tighten it some more. And once it snugs up, you snug it all the way down tight and that'll help seal that bearing up against the race. And then you'll just wanna back it off, again, maybe a quarter of a turn. So you got movement of the hub and drum on the spindle. And then what you want to do again is take your cage here and take that flat side that lines up with the flat side there. Go ahead and push it on. And that'll keep that nut from coming off the spindle. Now that the hub and drum is all installed on this axle, the last thing you'll need to do is take the Easy Lube dust cap. And again, it's an Easy Lube because the rubber plug will come out. So when you do install that in, you'll have access to that grease zerk fitting to lubricate. And once this is all installed, you'll, do, you'll want to hook your grease gun up to there and pump it until grease comes out to, so you know that it's all full and it's in the bearings and everything. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna install it. And to install it, you just wanna hold it up against there. And this is where the block of wood will come in handy again, is you'll put the block of wood up against the cap. Then we'll get the hammer, and then just to start it, again, you don't want to pound on the cap. You can just pound the dust cap in just like that. Just give it a few good whacks. And as you can see, this little lip here will go right up against the hub and drum itself. Now the last thing you want to do once your hub and drum is, a, is installed onto your brake assembly, you'll notice in the back here there are two adjustment slots. What you want to do there, there is a star wheel at the very bottom of the brakes. You'll want to use either a large screwdriver or a brake adjustment tool by chance if you have one. We do sell those separately on our website. But what that allows you to do is you can stick that in there and adjust that star wheel. And what you want to do is when you rotate this, when you adjust that, you'll tighten it up until you get a drag on it, until it stops, and then you'll just back it off usually about 10 turns, and that should keep it at the right adjustment you'll need. 
And that should do it for the installation of the electric brake assembly and the hub and drum onto the EasyLube axle.